Welcome to Thursday of Holy Week 2020. This is Dr. Steve Kobernick, pastor of prayer at the Rock Church and World Outreach Center. And this is the fifth of seven three-minute imaginary prayers of Jesus at the beginning of each day. I encourage you first to think about this little conversation Jesus could have had with his father about what was on his heart early Thursday morning of Holy Week. Then read John chapters 13, 14, 15, and 16 to see what he showed his apostles after he heard from the Father. Finally, ask God in Jesus' name for the same four prayer requests he prays at the end of the video. Oh, Abba, the Passover meal is this evening, and there is so much that my apostles need to know before I am lifted up on the cross for them. How can I best teach them to love each other and lay down their lives for one another as I am doing for them? My beloved son Yeshua demonstrates servanthood by washing their feet. Wow, that way I can show them the importance of satisfying even their small physical needs so they will also follow me in meeting each other's deep spiritual, relational, and destiny-fulfilling needs. Yes, son, they're going to be arrested and put to death for following you. They need to feel your love and provision to our Ruach HaEmeth, Spirit of Truth or Loyalty, whom we will send to live in them when you leave them and come here. <gasps> like he's been living in me? That's wonderful, Abba. Anything else? Much more, son. Your followers need a corporate recommitment practice that will remind them into the future about how you laid down your life for them in the New Covenant as the Jews remember the exodus from Egypt each Passover in the Mosaic Covenant with a dinner. Really? Good! I'll be listening for more about that. Anything else? Much more, son. Our Ruach will speak my words through you all afternoon and evening. You're going to love how much you get to pour into them before the night is over. Anything you want from me? Yes, Abba. First, help the leaders of my new people to comfort themselves about my physical absence from them on earth, that it means that I'm preparing a place for them with me in heaven. Second, help them do the same things I've been doing. And after I leave, advance our kingdom even more than I have by the power and guidance of our Ruach HaEmet, the spirit of loyalty. Third, help them share our high value of fruitfulness so they will be satisfied, as we will be, with the size of the great harvest, as well as the full salvation of every disciple. And four, strengthen Ruach in me, so I represent you well to them through this unprecedented series of opportunities to transfer our heart to them today. Amen.